Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a brief screencast on why a forward price would differ from a futures price even though the underlying asset is the same for both contracts and the contract terms were otherwise the same. Recall the difference between a forward contract and a futures contract is that the forward contract is an over-the-counter agreement between two counterparties. It's a private transaction. The futures contract, on the other hand, trades on an exchange according to standardized features and terms of the contract. The primary risk for each is different. For the forward contract, because it's an agreement between two counterparties, the primary risk is counterparty risk. That is, the risk that the other counterparty will default on the agreement. On the other hand, the futures contract trades on an exchange where technically the exchange is the counterparty and there is typically very little risk of default by the exchange so there isn't so much counterparty risk as basis risk that is the futures contract has standardized terms and features and so the primary risk for the futures contract is basis risk why would the prices be different the primary reason is daily settlement the fact that for the futures contract, if we consider the long, a long position, for example, on the futures contract, the long position needs to maintain a margin account. And that margin account will be settled daily. So let's look at how that gives rise to a price difference between the two by assuming a generic asset with a spot price of S and then we'll see that the key issue here according to John Hull from AFRM candidate customers is the correlation that's denoted by Greek Rho between the spot price on the asset and the interest rate denoted by small r so again we'll imagine there's both a futures contract and an identical forward contract both on the same underlying asset or the spot price is S. And then the issue becomes, is there positive or negative correlation between spot price and interest rate? Let's assume that there is positive correlation and that we have a scenario here where after the contracts are initiated, the spot price increases. There's an almost one-to-one -one correspondence between the futures price and the spot price. And so if the spot price increases, the price of both the futures contract and the forward contract will increase also. So far, there's no difference. The difference arises because of the daily settlement on the futures contract. The forward does not daily settle daily. But the futures contract, at the end of the day, there will be a daily settlement, and in this case, where the spot price is increased and the value of the futures contract has gone up for the long position, this creates additional margin in the margin account or excess margin. Excess margin can be withdrawn by the long position, the holder of the long position, and because of the positive correlation, that extra cash is going to be invested at a higher interest rate. So see how the positive correlation means that an increase in the value of the long position on the futures contract implies this holder of the long position is going to get to invest excess margin or excess cash at a higher interest rate. The forward contract does not get to enjoy that benefit of investing the excess margin at a higher rate because the forward does not have the daily settlement. What happens? If instead the spot price goes down, we can consider that scenario here where the spot price declines. We're going to maintain the same assumption, positive correlation between spot price and interest rate. Now the value of the futures contract is going down for the holder of the long position and the futures contract is still going to settle daily. 
However, that margin account is going to have a maintenance margin level. And if this spot price and the value of the futures contract keeps going down, there will eventually be a margin call. In other words, the holder of this long position will have to deposit additional cash into that margin account. However, if that holder of that long position needs to borrow to deposit that cash to meet a margin call, recall we said there's positive correlation between the spot and the interest rate. If the value of the forward contract's going down, this positive correlation says the interest rate is also going down, and that means this long position can borrow at more favorable rates. So hopefully you can see how it's asymmetric for the futures contract holder, the long position in the futures contract. There will be daily settlement in all scenarios, but on the upside, where the futures contract is increasing in value, that daily settlement creates excess margin, excess cash that is invested at a higher interest rate. But on the other hand, if the value of the forward contract goes down, a margin call that requires cash deposit from the futures contract holder can be financed at a lower interest rate. So it's asymmetrical and on balance more favorable for the long position in the futures contract in comparison to the forward contract that is experiencing no daily settlement. So on balance, the rule becomes when the spot price is strongly positively correlated with interest rates, the futures price tends to be higher than the forward price. And conversely, when there is strong negative correlation between the spot price and interest rates, the forward price will tend to be higher than the futures price. This is David Harper of the Bonnock Turtle. Thanks for your time.